Hello, for those just watching this module, we are working through the Form PI-1 General Application, or PI-1 for short, going sheet by sheet. We are using a minor NSR amendment as an example. In this module, I'll be showing you the fees sheet. This sheet determines the application fees for all project types. Some projects, such as alterations, do not require a fee at all, and this whole sheet would be grayed out. Renewal and amendment combination projects will have both fees calculated on this sheet. The fee rates and determination process has not changed. We'll start with the expedited permitting request. This section calculates the associated surcharge and provides instructions on how to complete an expedited permitting request. The expedited permitting request process is almost always completed via STEERS, but there are two exceptions. The first exception is when the application has been submitted by email, as discussed in the cover sheet module. In this case, you will complete the expedited permitting request by filling out this section of the PI-1, and you will pay via ePay or the TCEQ cashier's office. The second exception is if you request expedited permitting after you've already submitted the application via STEERS. In this case, you will update this section of the PI-1, email the updated PI-1 to your assigned permit reviewer, and pay the surcharge via ePay or the TCEQ cashier's office. Just remember, as long as you answer the questions in this section, the last row in the section will give you instructions on how to complete an expedited permitting request. Next, we'll look at the fee determinations for non-renewal projects, since we're doing an example amendment project for this demo. New facilities controlled and owned by the federal government have a different fee structure. We'll select no for this option. Some applicants opt to pay the maximum fee without doing the capital cost analysis. They can select yes here. After selecting the application type, Everything grays out down to where it states the fee is. And we have a maximum fee of $75,000. For those who don't wish to pay the maximum, we can select no here and go through the steps. First, I have indicated this is a minor application. This is an amendment for a minor NSR permit, so that is the correct response. Other options are for a major application, such as a PSD project, or a fee exemption reduction for specific situations. Next, I've entered some sample values for my direct costs for this project, and my indirect costs for this project. They are added together down below here to say what the estimated cost of my project is. That value is used to determine my application fee, which in this case is the minimum fee of $900. If I were to increase my capital cost estimate, such as this, you can see my total capital estimated cost for the project has increased. And now a different application fee applies. This next section here is grayed out because this is where renewal application fees will be calculated. You can see how that works in one of our later modules on renewals. The total fees section isn't needed in this amendment only example. If there had been a renewal project with this as well, it would have been in this grayed out line here. And then the total of the combined projects together would be listed here. Next, we enter the payment information. And finally, we review whether a PE seal, professional engineer seal, is required for the submittal of this project. We've stated that the total capital cost of the project is below $2 million, and therefore a PECL is not required. Note that an electronic PECL is acceptable, which is a change from our previous practices when a physical PECL was required.